Welcome back, everybody. Today, we're going to be watching another Max Orvid Doom Eternal Review Alpha Male Gaming Among Us edition. I'm sorry I said that out loud. Well, leave any recommendations down in the comments below, and let's get into it. I swear to God, if you throw me into that portal, I will fuck you. Mm. You were never one of us. You were nothing but an imposter. Oh, Oh. I see why it's called the Among Us edition. Do people still play Among Us? Is it still relevant? I'm assuming this came out like a year or two ago. I feel like it dropped off after the pandemic. Doom Eternal is a game with so much testosterone dripping from its orifices that it caused me to create a sun via mitosis. <laughs> Do not speak to me or my son ever again, like my little speck here. Don't talk to us. So, mitosis is regular cell division. Meiosis is for sex cells, right? Biology facts. Learning from Max. In this adventure, you play as John Doom, a man stricken with irrationally severe autism who does not consider or think through his actions and effects on other people. And in his quest to save mankind, kills God, God God, and Satan God God, who is also himself. If this in-depth and engaging hardcore male gameplay sounds appealing. God, Astolfo. The most chad of all anime men. Oh. Anyone else love it when there's someone on the internet that mistakenly thinks that it's a woman? Like, there's one where someone tweeted out, it's like, I hate women. And then their anime profile picture is of Estolfo. And then someone comments back, it's like, but your, but your profile pic is of a woman. And then it's just like, they don't know. They don't know. <laughs> Then I've got the game for you. This game is, of course, the sequel to the critically acclaimed Doom 2016 with a few key differences. <laughs> All right then, buddy. I'm going to shit, shit yourself. yourself. Which meaningfully extends and builds off of the gameplay and challenges that we love. Then Is this where that meme comes from? I love that meme when people say it's like, shit yourself. Extends them some more off of a fucking cliff until the product that emerges out the other side resembles crack concentrate. If you're watching this, I'm assuming you've probably played the game since I don't actually want to help people buy things. I'm here to entertain people, and if you're clamoring for entertainment and haven't purchased this game yet, do yourself a favor. There's enough male hormones here to transition someone, and I can guarantee you results, my fellow Sigma males. So what? God, Sigma males. Don't be a fucking Sigma male. Unless you're watching those Batman Sigma male grind set videos, those are... Mm, I don't think that those are serious at all. Watch those chef kiss. If you're a psychopath like me or new to modern Doom games, come with me on this amazing journey through Twitch gameplay, beautiful environments, nonsensically fucked up lore, and remixed Mongolian throat singing. For money is temporary, but Doom is eternal. Ah. I bet he had that joke in his pocket for a while. He's like, all right, where do I fit this in? How do I get this in here? How do I say that Doom is eternal? Hmm? I, I feel it. How many cuts has he done already in, what, two minutes almost? I feel like that's more cuts than I've ever done in my entire life. I would say that Doom Eternal's gameplay is quite unique and not for the reasons that you would think. Everything in Doom Eternal is funneled directly into a single, robust, <gasps> multifaceted, multinational, and unilaterally combat system from which the entire game is built around. But Maxor, I hear you thinking, that's every <laughs> game ever. Yes every good game ever. True. If I, for instance, became 12 and booted up GTA 5, I would be able to do at least a dozen unfun activities. Doom's design is focused harder than the average Persona fan on his local playground. Oh. And that is special. You He's not wrong, though. So many fucking games like, you can do anything. Do whatever you want. Okay, so did you plan it for us to do it? Or did you just give us a bunch of tools and like, okay, go do it. Is it fun? Is it fun? Just open world games can be fun. However, a built, concise story with planned actions, with mechanics looping in on themselves that are slowly fed and introduced and built upon throughout the entirety of a game, there's something special about that. I feel like everyone's too into the, make all the open world and put a bunch of towers everywhere and a bunch of collectibles everywhere, you know, that'll feed into their fucking ADHD autism and everything like that. Nah, give me a concise storyline. Give me mechanics that are introduced at the beginning, then another one is introduced, and then boom, you combine them. Oh, it's, it's so good, but that's harder. It's way easier just to make an open world game and then put a bunch of towers all over the place. 
way easier. You will play the game in the way that is fun or you will lose. So as good as 2016 was, a Polygon journalist could beat the first half, and that's <clears> unacceptable. <throat> because yes, it is actually is that... unfun. Oh my god, that's actual gameplay. Lobotomy. In other games, I get to choose between things like stealth, vehicles, or outright combat. Yet Doom Eternal asks the question, why not force you to use every mechanic all the time without stopping? In a world where AAA studios try to pander to everyone, it's refreshing to have a game that sets out to do one thing the best, and actually have developers who give a shit about linear design and gameplay and the main component of that gameplay is the arsenal because john doom uses every weapon throughout the game the first shotgun is used in the last level and the last level is used by the first shotgun what the when fuck? you get enough was that was that porn or was that just regular manga i cannot trust it whenever there is pictures of an anime manga especially fucking genshin impact i've i've seen meme videos of uh, some unsavory Stuff that I have definitely not looked up the source on. Definitely not. Upgrade. It isn't a replacement. It's a genuine addition to your arsenal. Every one of them has specific uses, and yet these don't interfere at all. They enhance. How do I kill an enemy? Well, shoot his hands off. Fire a rocket. Fire a ballista. Fire flames. Freeze him. Fire fire on his freeze and froze shotgun. <coughs> shotgun. Brain aneurysm. Just as important as how you kill is how you heal and how you restore. Fortunately, the aggression of this game rivals my dog in a kindergarten. Uh, like real life, the only way to get ahead know. of the competition is to kill them. How do I heal when low? Kill them. Kill them. How do I get ammo back? Kill them with a chainsaw in addition and the fucking colors come out god it's so satisfying it's like you're it's like a living pinata this is what the pyro sees in tf2 is this his hidden backstory is pyro the john doom most weapons hmm? in the game have two mods which completely change their behavior. Such stunning examples would be the microwave beam, the automatic shotgun, and the fucking destroyer blade. God, that shit's cool. But on top of eight weapons, 12 mods, and a declining mental state, we keep going. More than any one weapon, you'll be using your suit abilities, and they all have individual buttons. This is in addition to the eight that you use for weapons. These would be things like zoom for fast, grenade for death, Swedish grenade for life, punch for no reason, and a flamethrower for armor. I play Invoker in Dota 2, and this shit makes me play my keyboard like it's a fucking Moonlight Sonata. I thoroughly recommend playing PC and never using the weapon wheel for maximal Ritalin output. And if you can't switch weapons fast or play on easy mode, that's fine, man. We're all busy. Was that more porn? Come on. If you're watching this and you know it is, fess up. Not that I want to know the source. Okay, now that sounds bad. Never mind. Ignore what I just said. How about I give you two <gasps> more buttons? Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Billy Mays. Didn't he die from, like, I don't know, drug overdose? Or did he die from being hit in the head with like falling luggage i can't remember but still rest in peace billy mays your legacy is not forgotten you thought i was done there's two ways to kill a demon in doom eternal the fun way or the funny way and to maximize the funniness level we have the crucible which is a direct instantaneous kill on every enemy giant area boss dead, dead. previous area boss dead. dead the final boss fuck him now i hear you thinking josh that sounds hey josh you enjoying the video I need to do that in my live streams more often and just be like, oh, hey, guys, uh, Jim, how's it going? And just fucking scare the fuck out of somebody, maybe. Probably not big enough for that, but it'll, it'll work one day. I gotta remember that. It's funny pretty strong oh boy buckle your ass because the second super weapon on my extensive list of two things is the bfg which canonically stands for big fucking gun also can did anyone else when the bfg movie big friendly giant get released or announced they were like did do they know do they know that there is a gun just called big fucking gun that is synonymous with the acronym bfg when they made this i think it was a book first but still like they could have just changed it said like this is based off of the the, the book bfg no because that's all i can think about i never saw the movie but it's just like i'm disappointed i wanted a movie that's just big fucking gun Ironically, it fires a hole directly into the core of Mars. You can't just shoot a hole <laughs> into the surface of Mars. I can and I will. Now, I could kill an enemy the long way, or I could kill him and his dog faster than the ATF at Waco. It clears out everything you can- I think I know that. I watch Windagoon. I know that one. Go watch Windagoon. Watch a video about the eight, whatever they called it, whatever that fucking organization was, and you will understand that too. Fuck those guys. They shot a man's dog. 
NPC instantly. I am so thankful the game limits how many times you can do this. Now, I understand that at first this may seem complicated, but that just isn't true because the entire game is effectively a tutorial for hard mode. And because you're always learning as you play, it never feels stale. Doom even lets you choose what stats and runes to upgrade. I spec entirely into mobility and ammo, making my character a flimsy, crack-addled spider monkey. As a side note, we should release dozens or possibly hundreds of macaques into New York City. They can survive there. Oh my. Why does Thailand get to keep all of the good monkeys? Uh, think of all the people that lose a finger. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Some, something about just other primates scares the heck out of me. Because, like, they're small, they're tiny, but they're so strong. Have you seen a shaved chimpanzee? Those things are ripped. They will literally rip your fucking face off. That has happened, and it will continue to happen. Don't keep them as pets. Keep them away from us. I don't want to be any near any, any monkeys, gorillas, or any of those things. They're scary. Humans are scary enough. No. So what more is there to learn about Doom Eternal? Well, have you ever given thought to the various unwashed baboons that I'm fighting? The answer may shock you. Those are the <laughs> As you may have guessed, there are at least three, perhaps four demons in the game, which is a lot for someone who is a small, blonde anime lolly, such as... I knew it. I can't believe he doxed himself like this. How many people have lewd the lolly? How many people have lewd the hat in time lolly? That's a reference to a Maxor video that is no longer on the internet, at least not on his channel, because I think it was too edgy, even for him. Just myself, but it's the variety of the demons that make the game interesting. Demons can fly, they can roll around like hedgehogs, contract obesity, and be bastards. Who is Sandy Loam? Who is Tsushima? Amy Rose? I didn't know she could stand. <laughs> the point of the entire game, therefore, is to balance targets, switch weapons, and scream internally as you repeatedly <gasps> fail to be Amelia! Cool. Just like high school. What I'm getting at is every demon- Wait, 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 wait. Scream internally as you repeatedly fail to be cool. Just like high- God save me from this endless suffering. And then just hollow live. Okay. High school. What I'm getting at is every demon has completely different is that a behavior phone? and goals from one another. The Doom Hunter rolls around in a comically small tank. The zombies, like us, exist to die. And the Marauder produces controversy. He does a lot of damage, blocks your attacks, fights you at wild speeds, <laughs> and can only be attacked after blatantly signaling so. I personally have no issue with him, as I find the challenge fun and engaging. And if you don't, I'm not saying you're wrong, I'm saying you're bad. I'm not getting into the details for each one, since that's not funny, but don't worry, there are 27 of them without DLC. And if you're wondering why I'm fighting the entire cast of Dante's Inferno, you're actually the minority. This game tries at every moment to make exposition collectible. Why is there just a, a fucking big spear in the planet, and why is heaven comprised entirely of moth people? Ah! That was the- that one I know was porn. Not because I looked at it, I just know that people talk about it, and it inspired Juniper's model. Okay, I know that that one's porn. I don't know what happens to it. Maybe the guy's dick is like a glow stick. He gets an erection, he cracks it, and then boom. Glow stick. <laughs> Why did I say that? Uh, but In terms of gameplay or games, I love it when the story is just, hey, we're going to let the gameplay be the main crux. If you want to know the story, go for it. It's here, but we're not going to shove it into your face. That is the best way to do it. It's kind of like Dark Souls. You want to know all the stuff? Sure. Talk to everybody. Read all the fucking item descriptions. But if you want to just play the game, go fucking kill some bosses. Best. Best gameplay first. You cannot stop the procession. I thought I thought she was about to say you cannot stop the pussy. My brain already tried to autocorrect it into something lewd. What the fuck? Also, what a freeze frame. It feels like one guy wrote the events of the game, and another guy invented LSD just to write the backstory. So I'm going to combine both of them into a single, accurate interpretation of the Doom lore. If I say something objectionable, just pretend that it's right. Same with me. Same with me. Always. One Brazilian years ago, there was a guy named The Dad, who was effectively God, and he made moths in Lamp Heaven called The Makers. Okay. Every 10,000 years, all moths combine their collective consciousness into one giga moth called The Con Maker, who is the moth pope. So the moths rule over the galaxy, sort of, until Earth happens, and then we start fucking- Isn't this kind of like the Hollow Knight? The Hollow Knight. Aren't there moths in Hollow Knight? Hollow Knight? I can't say the name! Isn't- <laughs> Aren't there moths? in Hollow Knight that also had like a god thing. Wow, Doom Eternal really just copied that game. 
fucking everything up. The Moth Pope finds John Doom after a spree of murders, and he explains to her that yes, hell exists. It's weird that humans knew about hell before God. Anyways, the Moth Pope, after finding out that hell is real, very reasonably <laughs> decides to sacrifice a planet to it. See, it turns out that God literally pieced the fuck out like 10 million years ago and let the Moth do whatever they wanted. So now the no. con maker cannot be replaced and cannot die, so she sort of goes insane from the constant immortality. Now the plan is to get some of that sweet- have you ever thought about that? Im Whenever there's like, oh, what would you wish for from a genie? It's like, oh, I'd, I'd, w I'd wish for immortality. It's like, you're a fucking idiot. That's a, that is a fate worse than death right there. If you're going to wish for immortality, be like, I wish for immortality, but give me a button or a code box that I have to put in a specific password that I physically cannot lose to be like, you know what? If I put in this code, that means I want to die. Because imagine you get like stuck at the bottom of a ravine or something like that. Guess what? You're not going to get the sweet embrace of death eventually. You're just going to be down there suffering for all eternity. It's going to suck. Also, does your immortality come with regenerative properties? What if you just constantly build up scars? You lose a body part, you lose another body part, another party bar body part decays, and now you're just consciousness in the ether. Huh? You ever think about that? Nah, I bet you didn't. This is why they pay me the big bucks. Just in case I run into a genie, I've got my wish prepped. Sweet hell energy by repeatedly sacrificing entire planets to the Dark Lord in exchange for it. Meanwhile, a sentient robot named Samuel Hayden is very busy on Mars. Earth has this problem called climate change, and we need to find a new energy source. So instead of something hard... Wow, I can't believe he's pushing the liberal agenda inside of this video. Mm, I'm gonna have to leave a dislike after this. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Doesn't he know that global warming is just a fucking myth made up by Al Gore to sell us fucking sunscreen? Disgusting! I'm joking, by the way, some people don't know sarcasm. ...and difficult, like solar power. Samuel Hayden is like, what if we extract this cool blue energy from hell? Yeah. Also, it's on Mars. Earth does this until hell begins breaking into Mars and John Doom stops them, which is the plot of Doom 2016. This makes Samuel Hayden mad because he's funded by the Koch brothers and really doesn't want to build a windmill. So instead of destroying the demonic crucible, he just brings it back to Earth and catapults John Doom into the backstory planet. If you think that sounds unreasonable, just remember that we considered blotting out the sun before building a fucking solar panel. I will say, solar panels are very difficult to make, uh... Like, strong enough, or not strong enough, efficient enough. It's still something we need to just work on. It's way fucking better than trying to blot out the sun. But it takes, we gotta do more effort. We gotta do more. We gotta put them in places. You know, there's got, we gotta do a full effort of not just solar panels. Because not one solution is enough. We have to do more. We have to. But let's not blot out the sun. That sounds very stupid, and that's like a super weapon. Because now you control the weather. Not nah, just fucking do windmills, turbines, solar panels, nuclear. Nuclear? Come on, people. Nuclear. Excuse me, I, I surprisingly demons in I re I unpaused at a very weird moment. What the fuck? Fade to recycle Earth into blue energy for the Moth Pope, so John Doom has to fight both Catholics and Hell. And as you go through the game, you might know. So you're telling me he's having to fight horrific, horrible, disgusting creatures that do things to children and also people from Hell. But I'm, ch I'm, it's fine. I'm joking. My parents are also Catholic. It's fine. It's fine. I'm joking. I'm joking mostly. Notice that it just brings up random shit at will. Like, oh, sorry, the soul factory is being held there by two gigantic titans. And it's like, okay, I guess Attack on Titan is real now. Mm -hmm. Doomslayer, you'll need this knife to kill my son. Oh shit, what do you do? What? The giant uncontrollable demon titan. The plot of the main game, to understate it, is psychotic and acts as an increasing checklist of galactically convoluted tasks. Just in this one game, John Doom finds an ancient city like three times, goes to the North Pole to kill Santa, fights Croatia, does a little trolling does a little cockfighting, invades heaven, and permanently kills God, but we'll get back to that. Doom 2016 Damn. took place on Mars, but this game has you slung around the universe on a fucking bungee board, so fuck? I understand completely when people say they don't play Doom Eternal for the plot. They're just wrong. I play Doom Eternal for the plot, and that might sound strange to you, but Eternal's plot is pure insanity, and it does everything that it needs to. We are painfully aware that the plot exists as a contrivance because the environmental designer went fucking ballistic. I just don't care. I play every single level gleefully wondering oh boy what stupid shit is next i cannot fucking wait so play the game for the plot <laughs> it is integral that's a good story then you're like oh man the fucking gameplay is awesome but i want to know what happens next it's not very easy to make a compelling story at all especially in video games because in video games 
Players can literally just ignore things. People can just go past portions of it. People can take a fucking long time to get to the next thing, and then they forget, oh, I forgot, what was I doing? What's going on? Who's that person? And then they think it's bad because they weren't paying attention. I do not envy anybody who has to write a story in general, especially video games. They're one of the hardest mediums, 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 to write a story for. And then for people to be like, you know, we'll put it as a background, but we'll still make it compelling that people go after it. Chef's kiss. ...to the experience of Doom Eternal. Oh, but Max, or there's a plot hole. How did the Doom Slayer get the first... <laughs> Everything I've said so far, except some of it, applies in full partially to the base game. But there's $40 reduce of DLC where the gameplay is faster, the challenge harder, and the plot somehow even fucking worse in all the right departments. 2016 was a wash. Eternal is Usain Bolt, and the Ancient Gods is fucking Venezuelan inflation. You thought <laughs> it was over when John Doom beat the demons and destroyed all of heaven, but you were wrong. That's just the beginning. And with both parts of the DLC, DLC now fully out, my recommendation cannot be understated. Let's get into why, and more importantly, what- This section of the video is going to be different, far more structural, and aligned with the plot of the DLC. Because the gameplay isn't what's new about the product, it's the challenge and the story. I originally wrote an entire script for this and then tra- Is that- Is that in code? Is that in Python? Or some form of coding language? That doesn't look like a notepad. Wait a minute. Crashed it because it doesn't truly communicate how this DLC drove me to insanity and I hard cope by simping for 2D women. I will tell you. Always with the Ganyu. Always with the Ganyu. I learned recently that all the jokes that people make about, oh man, she was so thick because in the past when a, when a monster tried to eat her whole, uh, it choked him to death because she was so thick. Apparently she was just overweight. It's like, that's not thick. That's the opposite. Not the opposite. But that's not the same thing as being thick. You're overweight. That's not thick. So I was like, why, why, why isn't she's not thick? She doesn't look thick. It's like, well, because she lost weight. It's like, wait a minute. You're, it's like, oh, yeah, she was self conscious. You're telling me that all, all these memes are real? There's no real thick gone you out there? Disappointed. You if there's a very big gameplay change, but the point of the DLC is more of what's amazing. If you like Doom Eternal, you will like the DLC. Period. Okay, so Samuel Hayden, you might know him for his various appearances on political YouTube debates advocating for carbon positive. What the fuck was that? Hang Samuel on. Samuel Hayden, you might know him for his various appearances on political YouTube debates at- What the fuck is- Why does that- what the f- What is this? What the fuck is that chart? What? Why are there toes? I'm more distracted by the fucking toe- This feels like some weird fucking softcore porn right here. What the fuck? advocating for carbon positivity. It turns out that he's not a robot. He's a fucking angel. Also, John Doom's Alexa is God. That's not a huh? joke or exaggeration. His name is Vega, and he's the physical remnant of God's consciousness in AI form. So Samuel, now a fucking divine being, wants huh? you to revive him since both God and Satan are trapped in volleyballs. At this point, the video can't count as spoilers because it makes no fucking sense. The first DLC is essentially trolling because you kill God. Why? Well, obviously to revive Satan exclusively so you can fight him. What? Of particular note here on the gameplay side is the final boss, who is Samuel Hayden. Because holy shit, this fight is hard. Also, the premise is ridiculous, and my enjoyment of the game is hurt by neither. Every aspect of this is speedy, fun, and everything else I've already said about the game in general. And when you finally beat Samuel and revive the Dark Lord, it turns out he's you. Huh? Yeah. The only thing in the world that could possibly kill John Doom himself. Is he no naked? Blood can be seen. And this whole Holy shit, look at that fucking neck. It, it looks like his head just continues down. Also, is he naked? Do we know if, if the uh the Doom Slater is circumcised or not? I need to know. Is that lore somewhere located in in the game? You know, just ask him for a friend. So now the not you you decides to go to hell where we all belong, and the second DLC is just chasing him. This is, of course, where the testosterone moves into critical levels. How does one get to the capital city of hell? Well, that's a great question. First of all, go to the planet of Argentinur, light the bat signal, learn how to train your dragon, okay? <laughs> go into the giant spear that pierces the entire planet for some reason, get the key to the gate of Divum. Now go back to Earth, traverse the Last of Us 2, and find the gate of Divum. But before I get to the final showdown with Crash Bandicoot Twin Sand, there's some cool gameplay I want to talk about. You have a fucking hammer in this DLC. Primarily used to defy the laws of gravity, but secondarily give- You could call it a... 
Gravity. Hammer. Do everything in the game. Health, no problem. Ammo, absolutely. My deepest, darkest urge. <gasps> Watame! Watame did nothing wrong. Yes. As I used this, I became more obsessed with hammers than Bob the fucking Builder. And there's plenty of demons to use it on, since the DLC adds a shitload of reskins. For instance, the spirit is a congealed amphetamine mass that makes every infested target three times faster. Microsoft Pinball, who is fun to fight, I promise. And Kinda remind me of Sonic right there. Pinball, Sonic, same thing. And the blood. Isn't there a Sonic game that is- Hey, there's, there's Sonic! What is it, Bloodmaker? Wields a spear with the power of God? Colored red with the blood of those who defy the con? No weakness, invincible, fights a bully at school. No feet like Slenderman, made by Max or official OC, do not steal. I love the fucking fights bullies at school. He is my dad and he actually came home with the milk and cigarettes. Bloodmakers, they are my original OC, do not steal it. So now that we've reached Cleveland, it's time for the DLC to gain- My name is Cleveland Brown. I'm sorry, I had to do it. This is the culmination of all of our work. The final battle against Satan himself. And holy shit, you can feel it. When the Sentinel army shows up and everyone's ready to kick ass, you just can't help but feel like your dick is being ticked. I did not realize that there was in -ga er, <laughs> Avengers Endgame in this shit. Did this come out before or after Endgame? I don't know, when things have happened more than a year ago in the past, they all kind of mesh together now. I don't know when things happened. Well, Cleveland lives up to the hype too, for once, because it's a non-stop battle of epic proportions right up until the final boss. This is a universe which implicitly acknowledges your godlike power by making the only credible threat to you your identical twin with red eyes in a Gundam. That is called fucking gameplay. And it's a beautiful send-off right up until the man himself, who awkwardly waddles around the arena like a penguin, but that's fine, the fight is still cool. Wow, you know, it's so sad that Steve Jobs died of Ligma. Who the hell is Steve Jobs? Ligma balls. <laughs> Got him! <laughs> now, before we defenestrate, there's a few details. I love that word. For those who don't know, I mean, it was given context clues right there. Defenestrate is, to, is the act of throwing someone out of a window. The more you know. I want to talk about that truly complete this game, make it a real 10 out of good. Firstly, I would classify the music of this game as metal without guitars, and I fucking dig it so much. How do you make metal without a guitar? Well, you sample Mongolian throat singing and your lawnmower. It just sounds so good. Normally, music isn't very important, but it's so good. Uh, the music is one of the most important things. Uh, sound design and audio is more important than visuals. Studies have found in a video game, players can forgive lower quality graphics, but audio? No, they are way less forgiving on that. You have, you have music that doesn't fit. You have audio cues that aren't synced up. You have anything like that. It immediately takes a player out of the game. No, no, no. It's one of the most important things good that it becomes important and the role it plays in setting your mood is vital also the main composer mick gordon like me hey there. watches virtual youtubers every waking second of his <laughs> wait what oh russell rip what the fuck am i watching end of his day great minds think alike in fact most of the music hey hey mark you want to watch my stuff want to catch me over on twitch mm -hmm. in this video is just doom eternal soundtrack guess you'll have to re-watch it over and over again to really listen Finally, this game looks really good. Not in a, oh wow, look at all these particles I'm stroking out way. It's more like, how does literally anyone have time to model all of the geometry in the game? It is unreal. It is so downright inspired that it makes you feel bad while playing it. Doom Eternal is such a fast and pulse pounding game that it's like sprinting through the fucking loop. How am I supposed to appreciate the Mona Lisa when it looks like this? Should you buy the game? Yes, I am. Also, the Mona Lisa sucks. I've seen it in real person, in real person, IRL. It's fucking tiny. Also, there's so many people around it. Can't see it. It's so, it's so annoying. It only got famous because it got stolen one time. Before that, people didn't give a shit about it. Hate it. Well, I don't hate it, but it's not that good. I'm very biased. If speed and action is what you crave, and you want to induce cardiac arrest early, this is your game. I would like to thank the Demonic Brotherhood funding this channel in exchange for their souls. If you would like to engage in blood sacrifice on my behalf, you can head to my Patreon to learn more. Is that the angry video? Ah, oh, that is whatever his name. Angry video game? Nerd, something like that. I can't remember. Thank you all for watching. And of course, run. They're coming. <laughs> well, thank you all for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, if you have any other recommendations, leave them down in the comments. I've got a ton to get through, but leave them down there. Also, 
catch me on Twitch, and y'all have a wonderful rest of the day. Goodbye.